My pleasure. Yeah, the euro dollar, the one thirty six ninety was our significant level. That was our short. It has been for a while, so no change there. And you guys should be short this then. I just want to go back and you know just show you th th this th this one thirty six ninety. You know how relevant it has been. It's a fair, it's a fairly decent level. Yeah. Pretty tidy. That's worthy of an ellipse in there, and we're below that. We now, it's this is a lovely. Uh, these these opportunities they give us, you know, some of our best trades here. Our expectations are for further declines here. If it doesn't happen, and much like the cable at one fifty seven. This, this precludes what happened in the cable at 157. Take a, take a look at this here. Okay, take a look at this. Get that in your mind and let me show you the cable. Here. Yeah, there's no different. We we came through. We had a, a high. We came through a, a previous high. Made a momentum high. Came down. The 157 is a is like the 136.90. We're trading below it. Here in the cable, we failed to push lower. And what did we get? We had a lovely. We had a failure to meet our expectations below 157. So you buy the level. And thank you very much. I'm not saying this is what's going to happen in the euro dollar, but it's certainly what could happen. We've got it. This level is a short and a long. So we're short below it. We're long above it. Classic, classic significant level. So that's what we should be. So the structural short is 136.90. We're already below it, so we should be short. And effectively the structural long is 136.90 but in terms of the previous you know if we're when we're above this level our structural long is 141.58 so the 136.90 we have to have we have to be short below it and long above it um, if we're long above it the next structural long is 141.58 okay so as far as we're concerned we're trading the 136.90 Where is it on the 200 tick? 136.90. It is. It's here, represented by this blue line. And our short, if we're not short already, is. One thirty five seventy three. It's a two day low. No, you're short of the two day low. You're short of the two day low, one thirty five seventy three and your stop is the your stop is the three day low at one thirty six. So you're short one thirty five seventy three and your stop is the one thirty six. Okay, twenty five pips. Nice and acceptable, and well, the long has to be the structure. The long has to be the one thirty six ninety. And if you're long at one thirty six ninety, you don't want the you don't want the market to trade back too much through there. So you're going to have your long stop one thirty six sixty. So 
So if you're long above here, we'll take these, the one day low and four day low, and we'll put our stops the other side at 136.60. Give it enough room. Okay, but that's what we're talking about. That 136.90 is uh, is we're short below it, long above it, folks. I mean, and if every, every day now we get we every day we are below that 136.90. And we don't if we don't get a if we don't get a a push here you have to imagine it's important in these situations folks imagine you're on the short side the most important stop is a time stop if you're below the 136.90 so you're short you want the market to to meet with your expectations you want the market to sell off okay if you're short you're when it goes back through the 136.90 that's where the stops are going to be the stops are going to be at 136.90 so if we trade back through there make sure you stop and reverse that's the skill but I'm not going to start teaching okay let me stop that recording